Now here's a live shot of the sun today and basically I'll even tell you that this really I'm not advertising for them like I say basically a nonprofit here after about the first of the year and then you'll be able to go off to like my uh, stock advisory and uh, proportional integral derivatives and on markets and investment and stuff like that so anyway they keep on saying these events and stuff like that and it's a bunch of BS because this really is not a live shot of the Sun because if this was a live shot you'd see stuff moving around all they can do is show you stills that basically uh, NASA every branch of the, of the US military Lasco and so forth can show you okay but it's a, this is a pretty fresh shot of the Sun okay up close See, it's not really flames, ladies and gentlemen. It's all electrical. It looks like a bunch of pile of ants, honestly. Okay? So, I'll get rid of this, and then I won't be talking so doggone loud, okay? This is just a bunch of people in Prescott, Arizona, making money off you, okay? And I'm not really sure that they're non-profit, okay? They might be. But anyway, Beano Blacks will be non-profit. And remember that the actual factual... This is the shot of the sun right now, okay? Recent 1748 UTC today, okay? Thanks to all your tax dollars and the UT and uh, United States military. So there's a lot of people that, and basically, I'm just going to be doing a non-profit, like I say, not burning books, so that basically they show you the truth, because they're not showing you the truth today, that basically you can see the meatball in here if you adjust, because basically my other latest shot that I've got from Navy they don't show you because they're going to have the meatball. This is the far away shot. The meatball would be showing up and you'd be able to know exactly the size of it. Now, the latest from Sechi, we go back in here and you've already seen the footage of the meatball down in the corner, but we're looking at the comet right now. So, I know actual factual is the best show. Just like when a rock concert's on or something like that, you get actual great musicians, great music, i.e. and every musician in the world. I'm a drummer. I could sit up and play drums with just about any band in the world. Okay? And I have sat with some damn good bands in the past. Just out of crap luck of being at a bar at a certain time when the uh, drummer wanted to catch his girlfriend doing a sexual act with somebody in the in the uh, parking lot. Yeah. And it was a pretty good joke. She got tro uh, showed to be the little cheater she was. So and that can work both ways, male or female. You see what I'm saying? So... I try to be politically correct. Constitutional rights, you know, all the, the rainbow and everything like that. So, because that's why constitutional rights uphold the right to own a gun, you know, and everything like that. Because basically, it's constitutional right for the militia, and the militia is always secretive. You see what I'm saying? So the idea that if the government ever tries to pull something on us, the, the idea that the that would take that. Am I a member of the militia? Nope. Am I a U.S. citizen? Yep. Would I be required to be a part of the U.S. militia if the idea if the government tries to pull something on us, like taking our guns away and stuff like that? Constitutional rights, yes. I would guess I would have to be a member of the militia then. I'm not a member of the militia now. Okay, and there is a militia. Okay, and every branch of the United States military and the militia and the secret other militia that no one's ever going to know about. Everything's a hella cool. No one's going to take our guns away. Okay, so what we're doing is we're zooming in on our comet from the last video, and we I do have that interesting object there that I will also try to get us froze on that before the end of this video or the next couple and take a look at that group of stars. It looks like it's four stars out in the darkness because you're going to see, I'm going to stop here and just keep on because we've got to get playing. That's our comet going away. Okay, And we pretty much, proportional integral derivatives, we pretty much figure that it is and uh, I had it loaded up and then let's see our star again because basically it's going to pop in. Let's see our stars that in the darkness of space there I think it's more than one, but we'll end up zooming in on it and getting a good look. Okay, and that's our comet that we figure more than likely is to C2012 V4 because of the trajectory and everything like that and where it's located at right now. It's passed around the sun and it's getting ready to change its tail and we'll be able to figure it out all from every branch of the U.S. military and your U.S. Pay tax paying dollars. We'll be able to feel, figure it out from our footage. Now what we're doing is I've got it slowed down good enough that when it blacks out now when I got the, the deal on and there was our star again. I slowed it down, I thought, and we're going to be able to, actually, I'm going to have to go and save some tape and slow it down. Now, we're in here in 15 minutes. Basically, you remember the shadow of an object in space is the same size as the object, so that's why you know certain things from past history on the moon and so forth. But anyway, it's all for appropriating uh, money 
you don't get to see the, you know, you're not the accountant for the U.S. anything, okay? So the idea that everything's secretive. So the idea that now, that should be our comet moving away, I believe, down here. Either that or we have some other action. But I've slowed it down real big time, so now I'm at 999, and I have to try to figure it out. We came off Venus, so that should be our comet moving away. We should see our comet moving away action, but I've got it really slowed down now. So as soon as we get the comet to be able to do what it's action, and this should be it right here. It should be still that same signature. Yep, and that's our signature. It's going to be down there, so we're going to zoom in on it and get a little bit better shot of when it does do its... And if I'm wrong, I'll just have to back up the video and everything. But So... We're going to have to get out of here because basically I think I might have went... Is the comet up here moving away? Is that the comet over to the right moving away? And remember, you can see all the electrical action going on from the atmosphere of Venus. Check it out with all the other stars. You see that? So, you see what does react to Venus. Okay, and remember Venus rotates. Uh, and there's our... The star that look pretty much looks like it lights up in the darkness there. So I got to go down, unsize here real fast, to try to find our comet again, because I've got it slowed down. There's our shadow of Venus. You see that to the left? There's the shadow of Venus. So we get a decent shot of that at 400 as we're down, and then we get the blackness from the meatball, the cowboy, in space. The cowboy meatball. And then there's way more than one star that ends up, I guess, basically through the darkness, deep of space. So those objects are way the hell out there. That's what space looks like, folks. Check that out. Because that's when it's pitch black when the sun's not there. So if you're way out in space, away from the light of the sun, that's what it would look like. Okay? So when you see the red dye color, pretty much it's actual factual. And there's your meatball. There's the cowboy meatball. The cowboy meatball, and it hauls ass, even in slow motion here. So I got this slowed down pretty good, as you can see, but see, even in slow motion at the Dagon meatball, it moves hella fast. Hella fast. Massive distances, and you could, there is enough for separation between Venus and the Sun, i.e., when I show you the latest shot, that they can separate it out and not let you see it. And to me, it kind of looks like it basically you can possibly see it in the shadow either up here Because this is the most live, either that or it's in the shadow down here. Vice versa. And we'll be, I'll be able to nail that down because I saved these pictures, okay? So we'll be able to see that in the future videos. Nail it right down. Proportional integral derivatives to exactly where the stuff's at. This is how JPL does it, okay? So there it is, massively. And then we have our comet right there. So then I zoom in real fast. Basically, i got to get 999 on the, on the screen real fast. And then we'll have, we, we'll be stuck with seeing it go away, because that's our comet moving away right there. And we'll get up 999, and then we'll use the zoom tool. 999. And then we'll have to find it. If that's not really too hard off of Venus, we can find it. First off, we can move over that I'm not on the zoom thing yet. And then this is what we're going to be zooming in on, that comet moving away. Get in a good, a good look at it. And that's just basically, like I say... That's, this is the darkness that basically just blinged from the meatball, so you know it's there. And then people were trying to scare you, the optically that the idea oh, that it's going to be going over towards Earth. Well, eventually, we were getting this blinkiness, and basically, it was when you would, when there's the, the shadow of Venus out there in space from it doing its CME action, okay? and I haven't really moved around a, a lot. So, and then that's the darkness of space out there, and then you got Venus, it's a shadow, and then you got Venus, bam. You see? And then that's the CME reactive atmospherical flare to the CME of this, all this magnetical, electrical that's going on out there. And then basically that's our comet the light plume coming off here, 
These are some stars out there in space. And this is pretty much the comet right there on the bottom. And there could be some star action in here also as it's moving away. But you're going to see that that's pretty much the comet. We're zoomed in on it. And you can actually see it a little bit better from a, a, a distance. So we just kind of watch it here. And then basically we'll take the magnifier up and I won't be able to point. But we're zooming in on the comet moving away. And as you can see, we're going to have the actual factual knowing what, as you can see, that it basically looks to be, it's a comet, but it's a special comet. And basically from a distance, you got to remember that when we seen Lovejoy come around, Lovejoy showed to have more than one element. Okay, so we're getting some great looks because of the SOHO satellites to be able to see these comets moving away at a closer distance. Then you got a perspective here, you got to realize that you have to separate from the stars that are out there in space as this is tumbling through, but we get very great scientific fact from looking at the photographs here, and we're zoomed in pretty good, and there's the blackness, so I don't, I'm not even going to move anything, but see, I'll be able to zoom in because with one zoom and then moving over, I'm not going to even move. We'll wait till the color comes back because we're in blackness of the meatball, the cowboy meatball in space. And it's perfectly normal because basically when they, when they do their comments and so forth and so on, it was, you know, they'll talk about a star and they'll say it was, its the luminosity was so breathtaking or something they'll do that in their statement when they found they find certain objects in space stars and so f and so f such so it's the cowboy meatball I mean it's the biggest dog on it makes you realize how much now there we are we stayed in on the comet so that's the electrical activity with those stars in the background and that it's even it's dark when it goes dark okay and so this is scientific fact here we're playing to you because we got it on slow play. And that shadow of the of the electrical energy from the sun. And then that is it is basically this comet is under control of the solar system out of the magnetical of the sun. See, this is the deal. Voyager one and two and Pioneer, they are still on their are basically and I could be wrong on the satellites, the ones that are still operational that are going the farthest out. The bow shock hasn't hit yet, okay? We have, uh, or it's not what the physicist theories. There's theorists, okay? Theorists is actually a word, okay? That's what we consider to be people who sit around at think tanks and there are theorists that are have theory, okay? Scientific theory of any type. Proportional integral derivatives. And what we are seeing here now is basically I got to move over a little bit. It was, we're glued in, and there's some stars there, but we have that comet going by. Okay, now we have already seen Lovejoy's tail turn around. Okay, we've they've studied these comets enough that when they, they always have to go around the sun because they're caught in the magnetical of the sun. Otherwise, they wouldn't be in our solar system or pass through our solar system. See, so. Basically, you have, we've zoomed in on this, and we're going to get a little bit of blackness. Uh, pretty much, from what I can tell, that's about as good as I'm going to do on zoom in, because everything that I'm going to zoom in anymore is we'll see it pop up one more time, because I haven't moved around. We'll move back out on zoom so that you understand you'll see the comet, because you should have watched the first video, which is the video just before this. I keep them all in order. I can't move them around really basically in order off of uh, YouTube. So we're in the darkness of space from that light propagation, the light curvature from the cowboy meatball. And as you see, is the idea that there's enough energy off of it to totally cut off the electrical magnetical to these stars. And when they lose that from the sun, from a distance, if they're in our solar system, they go black. So something that's outside our solar system, that's it. See, IE on this here video, you're seeing that the idea that stars that are outside our solar system, so that when we go down here in size, now you just basically seen as good a shot that I'm going to get of that comet as it's moving away. And as I finish this, 
I can tell you in actual factual, this is all scientific fact, that we've been zoomed in.